Hi, my name is Rich Bibby and I'm a technical advocate here at Netbox Labs. In this video, you'll learn how to work with custom scripts and reports in Netbox, and also how to integrate Netbox with a remote data source where our example scripts and reports are stored. Scripts and reports are Python code and they exist outside of the official Netbox code base. Custom scripting was introduced to provide a way for users to execute custom logic from within the Netbox UI. They can be used to accomplish tasks such as automatically populating new devices and cables in preparation for a new site deployment, or fetching data from an external source and importing it into Netbox. Netbox reports are used to validate the integrity of data within Netbox. For example, you can write reports to check that all of your top of rack switches have a console connection, or that every router has a loopback interface with an IP address assigned. The script and report that we will use here are stored in a Git repository, so first of all, we'll add the repository as a remote data source. So from within Netbox, click on Operations and then Data Sources, and then click Add. So we'll give it a name of Reports and Scripts Repo. The type will be Git, and we'll paste in the URL of the repo, which is actually the repository that accompanies the Netbox Zero to Hero training course, as this has some example scripts and reports we can use. We'll give it a description. And then as this is a large repo with a few different file types and it will add some ignore rules to leave us with just the .py Python files that we need. And then click on create. And there we can see that the remote data source has been created. So next click on sync to synchronize the files between Netbox and the remote data source. You can see that the job status is now syncing. And if we refresh the page, we can see the status is now completed. So if we scroll down, we can see the list of all the files in the repository. Great, so now we can add our first custom script. To do this, just click on Customization and then Scripts and then click Add. So we're adding a script from the remote data source. So we'll select the data source that we just added. And then we'll select the file from the custom scripts directory called newbranchscript.py. Tick the box to enable auto sync to ensure synchronization of data when the data file is updated and then click Create. Now we can see the script is available to run. And to do so, all we need to do is click on the name of the script, in this case, new branch. And as we can see from the description, this script will provision a new branch site for us. So we click on the name, and then we'll populate the UI fields with the required data. We'll call the site test. It will have two C9200 switches, two ISR4321 routers, two MR56 access points, and two DL380 servers. Great, so we'll leave the checkbox ticked so that the changes are committed to the database and then click Run Script and wait for a few seconds for the script to run. And then we can see the results. The script was a success and we created all the new devices for the new site with one click. Pretty powerful stuff. Okay, so next we'll add a report. So under Customization, click Reports and Add. We'll select the same remote data source, and this time the Python file is in the reports directory, and it's called ipprimarymissing.py. Tick the box to enable auto sync, and click create. So as you can see from the description, this report checks that every device has either an IPv4 or v6 primary address assigned. So we can click on run report, and then after a few seconds, we get the output. And this shows us that we have a few devices that are either missing a primary IPv4 or IPv6 address. So there you have it. And hopefully you can see how powerful custom scripts and reports are in Netbox and how easy it is to add them to your Netbox deployment from a remote data source, such as a Git repository. If you'd like to start writing your own custom scripts and reports, then check out the links below this video for resources to help you get up and running in no time, along with some examples to get you started.